Good morning, everyone, and TGI Friday. It is Julie here with your TipRank's pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Happy Friday, and thank you all so much for being here. Of course, this morning, we're gonna take a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Okay, let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are ever so slightly in the red this morning. Currently, Dow futures are down 0.04%, while both the S&P 500 and NASDAQ futures are down 0.06%. NVIDIA's previously announced $40 billion acquisition of chip design provider ARM faces another obstacle as the U.S. Federal Trade Commission has sued to block the merger on the grounds of maintaining healthy competition. The regulator is of the opinion that the deal will give NVIDIA access to the computing technology and designs that its peers use to develop their own competing chips. This might lead to them curbing competition by deteriorating product quality, reducing innovation, raising prices, and lowering choices. Also, the acquisition would allow NVIDIA access to competitively sensitive information of ARM's licensees, some of which are its rivals. The administrative trial is scheduled to begin in August of 2022. The NVIDIA stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of nearly 12%. Palantir Technologies has bagged a contract worth $43 million from Space Systems Command. The contract is for their mission, ground, and communications expertise segment. The contract is in addition to the previous contracts awarded to Palantir from April and August of this year. The total face value of the contract is $91.5 million. The Palantir platform, also known as Warp Core, is being utilized to make decisions from large volumes of data in support of these missions. The Palantir stock is currently rated a moderate sell with an average upside of over 17%. Chinese ride-hailing giant DD Global said that they plan to delist from the New York Stock Exchange just five months after their IPO, where they raised $4.4 billion. Just days after their IPO, China's cybersecurity watchdog launched a probe into DD to protect national security and the public interest. The regulator also suspended new user registrations on the app in China. DD said that after careful study, the company will start the work of delisting from the New York Stock Exchange and initiate preparation for listing in Hong Kong with immediate effect. Their stock does not have any current analyst ratings. Shares of Zillow Group have jumped this morning after the company provided an update on their wind-down process and also announced that they've approved a share repurchase program of up to $750 million. In November, the company disclosed its plan to wind down its Zillow offers operations. Taking into account the current wind down progress, Zillow has updated its home segment revenue outlook for the fourth quarter to a range of 2.3 to 2.9 billion, which was up from the 1.7 to 2.1 billion range. Further, the net impact of the Zillow offers wind down of its inventory, operating costs, and restructuring costs are anticipated to be cash flow neutral. Their stock is currently rated a hold with an average upside of over 68%. And healthcare company CVS Health announced that it has entered into a strategic alliance with software giant Microsoft to work on developing innovative solutions. The collaboration with Microsoft is aimed at making the whole process of accessing healthcare solutions efficient for all stakeholders in the value chain. While the collaboration is expected to enable a data-driven and personalized experience for consumers, Microsoft Azure adoption is likely to make the work of technicians easier. Similarly, the use of Microsoft Teams and Office products will help in addressing customer issues more effectively. The CVS stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of over 20%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we'll be hearing from companies like Hibbit Sports, Big Lots, and Genesco, while the after hours is fairly quiet. Last night, we heard from DocuSign, who did surpass estimates in both earnings and revenues, but their stock has crashed about 30% after they provided lower than expected guidance for the fourth quarter and fiscal year. 
DocuSign's quarterly earnings rose a whopping 163% year-over-year to $0.58 cents per share, $0.12 cents higher than analyst estimates. Further, their revenue came in at $545.46 million, which was a 42% growth against the prior year. Meanwhile, looking at the fourth quarter, they're expecting their revenue to fall in the range of 557 to 563 million, lower than the consensus estimates of 573.8 million. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy and is pretty much flat on the upside. We also heard from Kroger, whose shares are up after beating analyst estimates for their third quarter. Adjusted earnings stood at $0.78 cents per share, which was $0.12 cents higher than analyst estimates and outpaced the year-ago figure of $0.71, cents, and their total sales increased to $31.9 billion, up from $29.7 billion last year and again ahead of analyst estimates. They also repurchased $297 million worth of shares, taking the total year-to-date repurchases to $1 billion. Their stock is currently rated a hold with an average downside of 5%. And we also heard from Marvell Technologies, who also came out with strong third quarter results and provided upbeat guidance for their fourth quarter. The company reported adjusted earnings of $0.43 cents per share, comfortably beating the analyst estimates of $0.38 cents and growing 72% from the year-ago period. Their total net revenue of $1.21 billion grew 61% year-over-year and topped analyst estimates of $1.15 billion. Their stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of 25%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are the Duckhorn portfolio, and the only news I could find was from a few days ago when they released their inaugural Responsibility and Sustainability Report. Under the ticker NAPA, their stock is currently up 23%. They're followed by the Marvell stock under MRVL, whose stock is up 21% following their earnings report, and Smartsheet under SMAR, up nearly 17% following their third quarter earnings. Our biggest losers this morning are led by DocuSign, who, as we discussed, had solid earnings but provided lower than expected forecasts. Under the ticker DOCU, they're currently down over 32%. Followed by Ollie's Bargain Outlet under the ticker OLLI, their stock is down 22% following a miss on their Q3 earnings. And RLJ Lodging under the ticker RLJ, their stock is down nearly 20%, although I couldn't find any distinct news. So that is going to be everything for Friday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you back here next time.